Okay, so here I am trying to get the brake pads into the brake pad bracket just right. It took a bit of finagling, but I eventually got it. Don't want to forget to put the brake pad clip on. Ah, uh, and some more frustration and finagling. In case you're wondering, I'm actually sitting on the floor, or actually on a creeper, Indian style. I tried different camera angles, but I couldn't get one just right. So I put the camera in my lap and I've got it face down just right. And more finagling. There we go. There we go. All right, good. Good, 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 good. Time to pound the crap out of the rotor to get it off. The old one, that is. This one came off a lot easier than the one on the other side. More light iron scrap. It's so funny listening to myself talk in high speed. So now I'm going to use the seat clamp to push in the caliper so that it's flush and I could remount it back on the brake pad bracket. I apologize for not offering up a good view while I'm doing this. I needed both hands and I didn't have anything or anyone to hold the camera for me.
But here's the caliper all flushed up. Listen to me grunt. It sounds like I'm pooping. <laughs> I'm not though, really. There, brake pad and rotor replacement complete. Now all that's left is to put the tires back on and do a test drive. Now to tighten up all the lugs. Oh. Time to test her out. Brakes feel good. They're not too squishy. Let's take her out and see what happens. Take a little test drive. Hopefully it won't hit the garage door on the way out. There we go. Nice and slow, nice and easy. Let's not damage the... There, look at that. Beautiful. Oh my gosh, she's responsive. Very responsive. So we're going to take her up the road. We're going to go semi high speed as fast as we can on this road, anyway. I would always advocate putting your seatbelt on, but uh, I live on a dirt road and I ain't going very far. And I'm going to be turning around and coming right back anyway. So, um, anyway, yeah, it's not bad. I step on the brakes, they're right there. I mean, I'm stopping right on a dime, uh, which is good. I spent 
Oh. I spent about $123 in parts. Now, that was for rotors and brake pads for not only my wife's car, but for my car as well. So this is my wife's vehicle. Of course, I want to do it first. I want to make sure my wife and my kids are all safe. Um, so, yeah, the brakes are working really good. Just stepping on the brakes just to, just to check on them here. Um, anyway, so I spent about $123 and some change for four rotors and two sets of brake pads. Um, so, you know, you do the math. I mean, you could uh, do it yourself and save a lot of money uh, like I did here. Uh, you can have it brought to, you know, you could bring it to a local mechanic and they'll probably charge you, you know, to replace the front brake pads and whatnot. You probably get charged anywhere from $150 to $250 uh, per, per vehicle. And uh, I got rotors for rotors and brake pads for two vehicles. So anyway, you get to see the point. I mean, if you're looking to save money, if you really can't afford uh, all these um, expenses with repairs and things like that, brakes aren't really all that hard to do. Um, as long as they're disc brakes. If you get into drums and you're talking springs and uh, you get to replace springs and all sorts of fun stuff there. But uh, but disc brakes aren't too bad. And this vehicle here is all disc brakes front and rear. Uh, sometime soon I'll probably be replacing the ones in the rear. But anyway. Oh yeah. She stops beautifully. Anyway, sorry I'm wobbling there, folks. I don't have a proper mount for the vehicle yet, but I shall. So I'm turning around. I'm headed back home. Um, so anyway, that's it in a nutshell. Um, tell me what you like, what you don't like. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, it's really important to me in the channel. Um, I've only got about 78 subscribers right now. That may change. People may view this a year from now, and I might have a thousand or ten thousand or a hundred thousand. I really don't know. But right now, I've only got 78. Uh, I'd really like to see more. Uh, tell me what you want to see on the show. Tell me what you like to see. You want to see more auto repairs? You want to see some home improvements? You want to see more scrapping videos? Um, looking to do some reviews on some products? I'm interested in knowing what you want uh, as uh, as my YouTube fan. So, uh, like, comment, and subscribe, and uh, I'll see you on the next one. As always, thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Please also click on any of the links to watch more Gill Skills videos. Thank you.